I'm Julie Blanner from the Lifestyle website, julieblanner.com, where I share easy recipes, entertaining ideas, and home decor that celebrate the simple life. Today, I'm taking you behind the scenes with me for an episode of Organize With Me Lake Edition. I had a few minutes about a week and a half ago when we were down at the lake house to get organized and I seized the opportunity. The winter is the perfect time to get organized because when it's cold outside, you may as well be inside and making it purposeful. The best way to get organized is one space at a time. This day, I was able to tackle both the guest bedroom closet as well as the bathroom drawers. And it really made such a big difference in such a short period of time. However little or much you can do, anything is better than nothing, but whatever you do, take a space and do it start to finish. You'll never regret it. Once it's done, it won't spill into the rest of your home and it will likely remain pretty organized for years to come. aren't always what they seem. And that's exactly how life at the Lake Cottage is. You know, our bedrooms are nice, pristine, and clean, but when you take a step into a closet, well, you'll find yourself with a little hideout that the girls created from all the extra blankets and pillows and accessories. It is so fun, but guess what? We created a hideout for them by creating that little nook down in the basement on the lower level. So it's time to restore the chaos and figure out what needs to stay and what needs to go. And that's exactly what I like to start doing is I like to pull everything out and we assess. Now these Ikea slip covers, that was the original color that we started with on our Ikea slip covered sofas. And I ended up deciding to go with a different color scheme. I ended up deciding to move forward with white. Will we ever use these? No. So they have to go. Like, why am I holding on to these? It's time to let them go. So anytime you bring things out of the closet, you'll figure out if things are misplaced, like this pad, mattress pad, uh, mattress cover, that should have been on this guest bed right here. So it's really nice to kind of like pull things out and figure out where they need to go because, hey, that can prevent a lot of accidents, especially if we're having children stay in there. I also found that I have an excess amount of blankets and it'd be nice if they were folded nice and tidy and stowed away where the kids can't get to them. There's not a lot that we need to keep at the Lake Cottage. I like to keep it as minimal as possible. I do take a minimalist approach to design and I feel like at the Lake Cottage especially, more is just more. It kind of adds stress. Things to me always add stress instead of reducing it. So I like to keep it pretty clean and neat and only what we need. Anything we need and nothing that we don't. So let's get started on pulling out some of the other stuff. Here's a couple of towels. They don't really belong in there. Those towels are towels that the kids use on a regular basis. Those need to go into the cabinet where those belong. All right, what else do we have in here? Oh yes, more blankets and pillow covers. I kind of have an obsession. So I like to stack the pillows, any excess pillows, up nice and tidy and neat, one on top of the other. I also find that folding everything in the same direction and kind of making it the same size makes them stack really easily and nicely. And then you can see exactly what you have, what you need, and what you don't. All right, this lamp, I keep hanging on to it thinking that I'm going to use it somehow and still haven't found a home for it. I don't know, should it stay or should it go? But I at least wrap the cord up nice and tidy so it's out of the way. I love having robes for our guests and so it makes them feel a lot more at home, especially when they don't have an adjoining bathroom and they keep them nice and cozy. So I like to keep those in the guest closet and keep them really easily accessible. I use these often when we're entertaining. It's just, again, make them feel more comfortable. Now, instead of just having like a bunch of random stuff on top of a shelf, 
I like to use what I have and what I find in that space and repurpose it. So I'm going to use this tray as storage itself, putting the, using it to contain all the extra soaps that we need and lotions to restock the bathrooms. Here, I'll just stack this big fuzzy blanket because gosh, it is so big, so heavy, it kept falling off. So I stacked, I folded and stacked the others nice and neatly right next to those pillow covers. And I put the things that we don't need to access very often, like the lamp and a little piece of decor in the back. So those are some extra cushions, two chairs that we have in the basement. This closet is doubling as a linen closet for the Lake Cottage. All right, here we go. The good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm not ashamed, not ashamed at all. I feel like I cannot be the only one out here that has a ton of stuff that doesn't belong in drawers and cabinets. I started this project just before I hosted a retreat at our lake house last spring, and I kind of got things organized, but as time goes on, sometimes you need to reassess your needs and figure out what's working, what's not, and what just accumulated junk. Here you can see the before, Okay, this is the point where we're like, this gets worse before it gets better. I mean, come on. This was a mess, but this is a mess. And yes, I enlisted a little help of wine. Before I had a little extra time to myself and hit up Walmart for some really inexpensive trays, but how many bottles of spray cleaner do I need in here? Definitely not this many. But I love these little totes. These are actually intended for a refrigerator, but they work really nice to store any excess. And they can also eliminate getting the cabinets themselves so dirty and make them easy to clean. So I'm kind of taking this opportunity to clean everything while I'm in here. But you can pull these out and grab exactly what you need without everything tipping over. I don't know why, it drives me nuts. It's like the domino effect. When you pull one thing out and everything goes. So I like to use these containers to keep everything upright. And at the lake house, we don't, we can't just like run around the corner to grab what we need. So I do keep a little excess here. And I bring some of my favorites from St. Louis. See that two? Don't need them. Just one. If they're the same, I combine them. If not, I see if there's a space that's missing them. But any excess doesn't really belong here in the bathroom. I saved this glass bottle. I don't know why, I don't need it. Again, it needs to go. Put everything back in. I like to keep the lotion like right up front and center because that's something I use really often. But everything else is just spares and can be stowed away. I also like to wrap all the cords up. I'm able to get everything I need into one small space that way. Okay, I mean, here's like everything that you never wanted to see and know about me, but we need to kind of like tidy this up. Again, I use the same thing. Those refrigerator organizers work really nice to keep things nice, tidy, and together. We do keep quite a bit of medicine down here at the lake house, and that's because you never know what your guest needs are going to be. And I like to keep them in our bathroom to keep the kids out of them. And then here I have on the left, like a makeup skincare section, and on the right, hair care section lots of ponytail holders because they're very necessary with the boat. We keep all the kids stuff in here too. We don't quite trust them in their own bathroom yet on their own, but we're going to try to let go of that one this year. I think you've made one too many potions, so <laughs> pray for us. Anyways, let's look at this drawer now. I just like take everything out of packaging, eliminate excess. Like if you have three boxes of band-aids, make them into one. And look, makeup drawer after, so much better. Again, I mean, so much excess, it's unnecessary. So I like to combine things when at all possible and eliminate anything that we don't need. I hope you see how simple and easy this is. This was a really quick fix, less than 10 minutes. I was able to do the bathroom and in less than 10 minutes, I was able to do the guest closet. So I love a quick fix, anything that you can do to make things quick and easy and tidy and much more organized. I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes footage of our Lake Cottage organization. 
I have so many organization videos that I've been releasing this month. You can see them all in the playlist that I'll link in the description below. Don't forget to click subscribe because here I'll always keep it real. It's so great to see you again. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks for following along.